Hey guys please watch my video till end because the quality content which I will provide you in or less than 3 minutes will be priceless and very useful to you it might change your life so I don't think you will skip my video so let's start the powerful video. We've all heard that milk is good for you. Why does it help the body? They say it's because of the calcium, though. If calcium is good, then lots of calcium must be even better, right? Not so. Don't give up. Before starting the video please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for new interesting videos. There are a lot of reasons to stop taking this overused vitamin and stick to calcium instead. Reasons to think twice about taking a calcium supplement. Calcium supplements don't get into the bones and don't get passed out of the body completely in the pee. This means that the body stores the calcium. If your vitamins aren't getting into your bones, they aren't helping your bone density and are probably hurting you somewhere else. Most of the time, though, it goes to where the infection is. So many of the diseases that Americans get are caused by inflammation, and inflammation likes to use calcium to help the process along. If the bones don't receive the calcium and it doesn't leave the body, it has to go somewhere. In an ideal world, it would go into the bone to help make the bones stronger and less likely to break. Instead, it piles up on the outside like used gum that nobody wants. As more gum is added, it gets hard and builds up. All that calcium that isn't used can build up and cause more bone growth. When calcium deposits cause osteoarthritis and bone spurs, this extra bone growth can be very painful. How bummed will you be to find out that all the things you did to take care of your bones to keep them healthy actually made them worse? 2 makes you sad. As the number of people taking calcium supplements goes up, there is also a bigger chance that something bad will happen to their heart. Remember that we're talking about the pills and not the calcium you get from food. Calcium in your diet has been shown to make you less likely to get heart disease. Again, though, people hear that calcium is good and think, I need to take a lot of it. When you take supplements, the amount of calcium in your blood goes up, and as we've already talked about, that calcium has to go somewhere which can make your valves and heart clogged up. It can cause a blood clot, or it can be used by inflammation to harden the walls of the blood vessels. Basically, it makes your arteries stiffer, which is bad for your heart health. You can find out if calcium is building up in your arteries with an easy test called a coronary calcium score. 3 Kidney Stones Who needs them? I know what to do. No one wants to get kidney stones. When your body tries to get rid of the extra calcium you are putting in, it will go through your kidneys before going down the toilet. It doesn't always get to the toilet. 85% of a kidney stone can be made up of calcium. If you have too much calcium in your body and it needs to get out, and it goes through your kidneys, it could cause you to get more kidney stones. Studies have shown that your chance of getting kidney stones goes up by 17% if you take calcium supplements on a regular basis. 4 can make it hard for the body to absorb other minerals. Calcium is like many other nutrients in that it is easier to absorb when it is eaten with other nutrients and minerals. If you take supplements, you probably aren't getting the right mix of these nutrients and minerals, and too much calcium can make it harder for your body to absorb minerals like magnesium, iron, and zinc. Taking calcium with food can make it harder for your body to absorb iron, making it harder to get all the iron you need. Who has stressed about having anemia? From what I've seen with patients, there are a lot more people who need more magnesium than those who need more calcium. Calcium and magnesium both bind to the same spot on the cell. If you take a lot of calcium, it might get into your cells before the magnesium you need. Stress makes you lose how much of what? The element magnesium. If you are already low on magnesium and take calcium as a supplement, you are only widening the gap. 5. The dairy industry played this calcium thing for laughs. This whole calcium mess was started by the dairy business. But keep in mind that they didn't have your health in mind. They wanted to sell milk goods, and they did. Everyone thinks that milk is good for the body. That's silly. Milk was made for calves, not for people to drink. Nutritionally and molecularly, the milk a 150-pound calf needs to grow into a 2,000-pound cow is very different from what a person needs. The size of the calcium molecules in milk makes it hard for people to swallow. So you've been drinking a lot of milk and thought you needed to take supplements because the dairy business told you lies. 
The baby cow grows up and starts drinking water. But the baby person drinks cow's milk and takes vitamins. 6. It doesn't help keep bone density. You had no better ideas. You were told to take calcium supplements because the calcium is supposed to go into your bones and make your bones stronger. You thought those calcium pills would do something else, but they don't. If your body doesn't get rid of the extra calcium, it gets stuck in places it shouldn't be. Studies have shown that the bones do not take in calcium supplements. So, calcium pills don't make bones stronger. What good are calcium pills if they don't help keep bones strong? Just what I've been looking for. If you eat a variety of foods, like leafy green veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, and beans, your body will get what it needs from food. Like, share, subscribe and comment.